You know, the issues that I think that are really plaguing our country right now uh, has really been the breakdown of the family. Young people that have really got nobody or had nobody. My relationship with my mom just started getting, you know, worse and worse. She was there for me when she wanted to be, and when I needed her the most, she wasn't there. My father and I, we don't talk anymore. We were like splitting logs one day, and my father like um, threw a log at, like not a log, but a two by four at me, and he gave me a concussion. Over the last 50, 60 years, you've just seen families being torn apart and divorced, and in the process, young people were just being discarded. You just see this ongoing ripple effect of fatherlessness. Timothy was our firstborn son. He had three paper routes. He um, worked on a farm after the paper routes. He was an honor student at school. He was um, captain of his cross country team. And Timothy had extraordinary vision and had a great love and passion for people. He had a great love and passion for outdoors, but he also had a great heart and a burden for young people that he saw coming out of broken families. He dreamed of someday having a ranch for homeless children and was saving his money for that purpose, was trying to buy land at the age of 13. And it was really his vision that was communicated to my parents at one point in 1972 that he wanted to have a place where young people could feel loved feel safe and enjoy the outdoors, and particularly his great affection for horses and, and uh, living in a ran on a ranch, in a f on a farm, and getting to just do a lot of the cool things that uh, so many kids don't have the opportunity to do. And one morning, he missed the bus and ran back into the house to tell us he would ride his bicycle to school. And I said, I'll take you. He said, no, you have the little ones to take care of, and besides, I have some things I need to take care of. So. Uh, within three minutes, he had had a collision with a truck, and his life ended. I can't put into words how this young man, whose hand I never got to shake, has changed my life. One of the things that we really love about Timothy Hill is that I feel like the way that we love young people is very similar to how Jesus showed an example of how to love everyone. The vision of Timothy Hill, um, in simple words, is transformation through love. And that's something that we're passionate about, about helping people and just showing love to people, whether it's through hospitality or um, through teaching uh, young people uh, life skills and helping them work through difficulties. From my perspective, the heartbeat of Timothy Hill is to help those less fortunate and to help those uh, not just in, in New York, but across our great nation. We continue to see transformation taking place in the lives of young people. Uh, and it really is the love of God uh, being manifested in our lives uh, and being poured out onto these young people uh, that really is the change agent. Specifically young men that don't have a strong God, that they've been let down by life, by parents, by their community, and um, how do we help these guys change their trajectory? There's so many kids that just don't have a family. They haven't had a mom to love them, or a dad to love them, or a supportive environment. And Timothy Hill really seeks to invite young people to join families. Timothy Hill is like love. It's like bonding. It's like everything you can imagine here. Death is good. They treat everybody how they would want to be. The ranch makes you work and make you become a better person and a better man or woman than what you was. You know, coming to the ranch shows you there's there's people that care and like it's like a family. And after the ranch, there's a there's a whole world out there to do the, to do the next right thing. Just uh, as Timothy's dream was not limited to Riverhead, neither is the, the need for our services. In the coming years, we hope to be establishing a residential program where this would be a training grounds for young people coming out of difficult situations. I don't believe that when, when Timothy 
had his dream, and he, he would have dreamed it'd be as large as it is today. The Retreat at Norwich Lake is a place where anyone can come and get away, get back to a place where you feel like God can speak to you. Even though Timothy Hill has multiple locations, we are one organization, and we have, share the same vision, which is to see uh, hearts and lives transformed through love, and that is ultimately our goal. Um, and we believe that if we continue to love well, uh, there will still be lives that will be transformed. This ranch started with a dream that Timothy had, but uh, it's so much bigger than we ever dreamed it could be when it started. And uh, we're so thankful. When God is involved in a dream, we need to just get out of the way because something big is going to happen.